Hello, everyone. Welcome to 10 Minutes Astrology. I'm Ron Chang. I am Alejo Lopez. Welcome, everyone. You just distract me because usually I will say the most easy way to learn astrology, but the thought but of I you was do, doing stuff. You do that. Yes. I would ask, what he? What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, I can. I can't. Uh, I can't stay quiet. I'm like a kid. Oh God! And I, <laughs> I, I couldn't stay focused because uh, this my I blame my Mercury in Pisces. So I'm very easy to get distracted. <laughs> I'm super easy to get distracted. So it's like when I when I when I talk or when I am um, teaching, my students know eh, they they just like they stay like this. They don't move. They're frozen. <laughs> yeah, because if they move, I will. I will look at them and say, any problem? <laughs> <laughs> no. I say, yes, yeah, sorry. I, I'm easy to get distracted. So anyone, any gesture, any moving, I will just like. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I don't know. Today, we're going to talk about the another important house. The four house. Why four house is important? Okay. So the houses, they are divided. As the signs are divided in cardinal, fixed, and mutable, mm -hmm. the houses are also divided in angular, mm -hmm. succedent, or cadent. Cadent, mm -hmm. cadent, I don't know how you say it. So, cadent. Cadent, okay. Don't worry so much about it for the moment, I would say, because it's too much. Uh, but I would say that remember that the angular houses mm -hmm. are very important. Mm -hmm. So the angular houses are the first house, the fourth house, the seventh house and the tenth house. So mm -hmm. some astrologers will say when a planet is in this house, they will say that this planet is angular. Some astrologers mm -hmm. will be more restrictive that it has to have another thing, not all, not so much being in this house. Mm -hmm. But I don't yeah. want to go into it because maybe it's too much. Um, yeah. But for the moment, let's just remember that if a planet is in the first, the fourth, the seventh and the tenth, it's mm -hmm. in a position of the chart that's important that's very prominent mm -hmm. so probably that planet will be eager to express itself in mm -hmm. their person's yes. life we saw the first house is about how we enter a room how we start things how people see yeah. us and all of these kinds of things right how we approach life mm -hmm. so that's why it's so important come on how we approach life it's very important yeah. um, so the fourth house is also going to be very important mm. and we're going to see when it's about why yeah, I think the important also like uh, uh, because the, the this angularity the, so so it's the kind of a, also kind of a, we call it's kind of a cardinal point. I don't know is that right word to say or not, but it's like a, it's a very important point for this uh, the, the 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 house cut of the uh, first house, four house, seventh house, and the tenth house. Because the it is the ascendant, descendant, and the MCIC, which yeah. by the meaning it should be important because, like you say, the the first house is how we interact with with the world. And today we focus on the four house. Most people probably already know this is about our house, our mm. home, and yes. uh, our relationship with parents and with our family. So. How could that not be important because your home is where you spend most of your time, especially, I mean, before before the pandemic, most people probably just only spend maybe seven hours or, or eight hours in their house. Yeah. But after pandemic, a lot of people working from home, God, you stuck with your house nearly <sighs> entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think also it's very important because the, one of the other things about the fourth house is your childhood. It's like the experiences when you were a kid, mm -hmm. when you were a child. Mm -hmm. And well, I'm a union psychologist. I'm training to become a union psychologist. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, the childhood years are so fundamentally important because they build your character and who you're going ah. to be. Mm -hmm. And if you think about the chart in around like a round shape, mm -hmm. the fourth house is at the bottom of the chart. So it's like mm -hmm. the foundation of the chart. It's like mm -hmm. uh, the roots where everything grows upward. Yeah. Right? I would say I also like... because, sorry, yes. So yeah, yeah, sorry to interrupt because I like the, that image you described. I always love that image of the root in the fourth house. And you mm -hmm. imagine a tree, 
the beautiful root go very very deep in your forehouse, your family, your ancestry, and then the flower will come out from the ten house. So that give us an idea. This the ten house, your career, your outside world, your public image are deeply related to your family and yeah. your root. Yes, and. And it's interesting because some people will deny this. Some people will say, no, I chose a profession completely different to what my family had and because I wanted to be so different. Um, and, yes, and if you were really like striving, a, yeah, sorry. Like, like a Prince Charles or King Charles say he's a self-made billionaire. <laughs> self-mad. <laughs> okay, don't get angry. <laughs> Let's not go there for the moment. I, I'm not angry. I'm just, I just self-mad, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, now you got me distracted. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to say about the fourth house, because it's, if you think of the of the chart of the sky, yeah. So in the ascendant planets rise, in the descendant mm -hmm. planets set. Mm -hmm. In the tenth house, the planets are going up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. Then the fourth house is the deepest they can go. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we could say is the the depth of the of the night, like the the what's more what's most hidden within you. Mm. So there's mm. something about the internal world in the fourth house, and mm -hmm. something that you may not be open to show to the world. Wow! You said it's your home. The fourth house is your home, and again, in like we could symbolically think that our home is something that protects us from the outer world, right? So something that we keep there to be to yeah. be kept safe from the outer world. So it could also be, we could also think this in psychological terms and say, okay, the fourth house has something that's very deep within us that we might not share with everyone, that we mm. might want to hide. We might only share with people who we really trust and who we can mm -hmm. open up to, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so, you don't, please don't hear about this every day or, you know, you know in the most, uh, most people to describe the, the fourth house, most people just are, a parent and the family <laughs> and the <Yes>. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's important to try to see all of the possible meanings that the house yeah. may have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So should we go to our example? Let's. Yes. Yeah, because it is very interesting. Um, last last couple weeks we used her. We used the Brittany as a sample example. I will promise next time we will change. But I mean, it is very interesting. She has a is planet between second house, third house, and fourth house. So all this house is kind of a all around her, and especially I like the concept you gave about childhood. Mm. And uh, also this planet we're talking about her relationship with her parents too. It's quite yeah. interesting. She has Venus in fourth house. Well, if you ignore the sign, you will say, wow, what a beautiful Venus in four house. She must be very comfortable at home. Mm, but it's in Capricorn. So what do you think? Uh, well, you think we, all know, Capricorn we all know her depends. childhood. We all know her childhood. And we all know how her parents working her so hard since a little girl. Maybe it's her choice to a little girl choose to work. You know, she liked performing. She loved performing when she was a little girl. Yeah. So her parents make her as uh, use the performing as a career. A little girl, the symbol of Venus, who working really hard in her childhood. This yeah. Venus in four house. This is how I, I mean, I mean, I mean, because we know. So, so I will do this way. But what's the other potential? What's other I possibility? Mean even if we didn't know, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, Venus in Capricorn might mean that uh, the person values achievement, values work, mm -hmm. values effort. Mm -hmm. And this may have been inherited from the family. This may have been mm -hmm. something that she learned when she was a kid, when she was, yeah, um, yeah in her family, her childhood, right? Mm -hmm. um, and also I would say Venus is a gift. So maybe she, got, she has the gift of, mm -hmm working hard you know she mm -hmm. has the gift of uh appreciating real real results you know of being mm -hmm. realistic about what mm -hmm. she can achieve what she can do and mm -hmm. maybe she enjoys also there's some kind of joy in being hard worker 
And yeah. this is all coming from her family. Also, mm. because it's in the fourth house, maybe this is something she doesn't show. Again, with the idea of hiding things, maybe it's something she doesn't show. So when we see her, we see her enjoying. We just see her yes. like this expanding uh, characteristics she has. Perhaps yes. this sweet characteristics she has with a with a cancer there in the third house. Mm -hmm. But down deep inside, all of this sweetness, all of this expansive um, sun in Sagittarius, this expansive, expiring, fiery energy is rooted in a system of values that mm -hmm. believes that you will only achieve things if you work hard. If things yes. are not given for free. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. That is that that totally sums up this uh, beautiful Venus in Capricorn, and it's usually planet in a sign. Well, uh, I mean in in the modern astrology, especially in the modern psychological astrology way, there is no good or bad. It's just the potential and the how how we how we mm. act it, how we um, um, unfold it, how we how we present it in our life, how we encounter it. So this Venus in Capricorn suggests a a someone who enjoy this kind of a reality and someone who working really hard but may not be seen because it is in the deepest in the chart so it's maybe like a, she closes it down or she's not showing to other people that is so interesting so i don't know what what an, another we should should we choose another planet to do the exercise Okay, yes, for sure. So because we did Venus for the mm -hmm. exercise, I would say, first of all, as usual, look at your own chart mm -hmm. and see if you have something in the fourth house, yeah. if you have a planet there and see if this kind of expressing something about your childhood, something mm. about how you were brought up, mm -hmm. or maybe it expresses something about the relationship with your parents, with Brittany, yes. for instance, Venus in Capricorn in the fourth, I would say that she she wanted to be liked by her par parents mm. by hard working by showing yeah. she was autonomous she was self dependent she was capable of achieving things yeah. um so see if you have a, a a planet there and maybe this is also speaking about how you related with your parents when you were a kid and of course this will create a foundation stone in your personality of course yes and so i would say first that and then if you don't have any planets and you still want to practice this yeah, uh, I would say let's do Mars so we because okay. it's the opposite of Venus. So mm -hmm. try to think how Mars in the fourth. What does it mean mm -hmm. about the childhood of a person who has Mars in the fourth? Uh, what does it mean about their the relationship with their parents? And what does it mean about what they're trying to hide, what they don't show so often in the world? And also you could think about how do they manage to do their their current home as adults? Mm. What do they find the home to be like? Yes. That is also quite important meaning of the fourth house. And uh, so, well, I think today we talk quite a lot about the fourth house. And don't forget, well, other one last thing. <laughs> one last thing. If you don't have any planet in fourth yeah. house, there's a there is a house cut to describe how you related to your parents and how you uh how you describe your environment that is also quite important suppose you are you have like a the uh leo in the four house cut i see that maybe your 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 ideal home would be buckingham palace or windsor castle huge luxury or maybe it's a fun fair you know an interesting place to you know, to, to be very creative, a place to be very creative, to be yeah. your home, to be your home. And that is, don't forget, there's always a thing you can describe with this house, not only just if there's only planet there. Well, yes. so if you like our video, uh, please subscribe and like, and also join our Facebook group. I have to speak very slowly. I don't know why every time when I read, Facebook group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a so, group rough, rough. Yes, yeah, so it's 10 minutes astrology group on Facebook. And also, uh, if you uh, like to contact us, give us a feedback or have any question, please send us email at aoa.inquiry at gmail.com. You can find me on the uh, Instagram at aoaukrod. And if you want to contact us, uh, either me or Alejo 40 reading or for the consulting and also find more information about uh, 
the talk and the, the new course we are running. Please, Alejo, your website and the email. So my website is Liminal Cosmos. My email is meet me at Liminal Cosmos. And my Instagram is also Liminal Cosmos. And you can reach me anywhere. Yes. Yeah. So, so we will put all this information. Don't worry. We will put, put this information in the description so you can find us there. Well, thank you for listening and uh, watching the 10 Minutes of Strategy. Next week, we'll come back with the very interesting place. <laughs> we go to the fifth house. Oh, fun. Yes. Yes. Okay, see you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.